Now, I, I just ask this question to, we have got a word in sociology, we call it rapid. R A W P O R T. <coughs> this rapid means sympathetic relationship. If you are asking somebody a question, so in our researches, social research, uh, you must have some kind of a rapport. Some, Ari Baba, Chai Piji, as I said, kids have, uh, you come forward and all that. <coughs> So, <clears throat> as far as this sociology is concerned, <clears throat> uh, we live in sociology. Everybody is a member of a family. Everybody has friends. Everybody <clears throat> is part of some caste, some class. But the difference is, as far as sociology is concerned, that we approach these very common things in a systematic manner. As far as general people are concerned, when they go to a party without their wife accompanying them, they say, my family has not come. As means, wife feels family. So, in sociology, we just uh, go for a kind of a systematic conceptualization. Nothing else. Nothing else. <coughs> There are <coughs> probably more than 200 definitions of sociology. More than. But my polite request to you is that you always accept, express, and use only one definition, only one concept. That is, sociology is the study of social facts. Sociology is the study of <coughs> social facts. <coughs> this is a, a very popular man or a sociologist, Emil Durkheim. He said it, Durkheim said it. You use only this word. Sociology is the study of social facts, nothing else. All these social facts, they constitute the sociological reality. We do not study society. You'll say, sir, sir, how, how, how you say this? Are we study society? No. In society there are children do you study children in sociology? No. No bacha is studied in sociology. There are mad persons. Do you study mad persons? No. There are some unique people in society who go to jungles, live there. Do we study them? No. So, they are part of society, but we do not study them because they do not constitute sociological reality. Clear? Then what is this sociological reality? We have said simple thing, that this sociological reality is comprised of all social facts. So the hundred rupee question is, what is then social fact? Hmm? So social fact is anything, anything which is consented to by, that is accepted by, that is shared by at least two persons, at least two persons at least two. Then it is something which is the basic element of social fact. Darkheim, this fellow used the term collective consciousness. You are very often, Are Baba, this collective consciousness. No, collective consciousness only means that you recognize that yes, this is part of the social thing. 
you are part of that. You share this. Supposing two persons are very close friends. They recognize that each other is a close friend. They recognize it. Now what happens? That <coughs> once they recognize that is the collective consciousness. That is the consent. So this group of two persons is a social fact. The second element is that when they talk to each other, they do not say to each other if they are close, good morning, good evening. What they say when they meet, are dot dot dot. Kaha thare itna din se, are then then the dot dot dot. Even girls who are very close to each other, they do not address without an abuse to each other. Clear? So this is this this sharing and this. So if one friend falls ill, the other is concerned. This concern is the collective representation. Since you are part of a collectivity, you share the responsibility, you share the obligation, and this sharing of the obligation, this sharing of the collectivity is collective representation. In North India, when sons are married, they do not take care of their mother and father, parents. What they say? Are, my son, he has been enslaved by his wife. The pateki hawa lagis. What is what has happened in our sociological sense that he is now not representing the collectivity. There is no collective representation. He is not following that, <coughs> sharing that obligation. These two are the basic elements of social fact. If anything has these two things, it's a social fact. Two lakshana, two attribute, two features are there. One feature is that if you are a part of social fact, if there is a social fact, that would influence you. If your friend is there, you are influenced by your friend. If somebody is not your friend, you do not care for him. This is the influence. And the second feature is that <coughs> any social fact is not dependent on you. Why? You say, no sir, I say nahi. Are, I, I'll not become, I'll not remain a friend. Dosti ek din mein banai bhi nahi jati hai aur ek din mein todi bhi nahi jati. Remember? So any social fact is an objective reality like this pen is. It has an objective existence. It is not dependent on your sweet will or my sweet will. So all the things in society which are social facts, we study them in sociology. Clear? Not the whole society. Very often uh, in UPSC exams, you are asked one thing, right in a sociological perspective. You are confused. I say, what is this sociological perspective? Uh, for how many months you have been studying sociology? Nine months. So what, what in your view is sociological perspective? Well, I, I, this is not a test, this is not an examination, but this is simply an understanding. After all, what do you understand by the sociological perspective? Uh, in many questions, right in a sociological perspective. And you think, sir, Are Baba, this, this examiner or this setter is something, 
What is the sociological perspective? Are, I know so social group, I know the social class, I know the social structure, I know the social... But what is the social perspective or sociological perspective? Boli Sahib, the experienced Admi. What is this perspective? I, probably you have not given thought that how this is... Are, I have leaked the other sociological hogya perspective. This is what sociological perspective. I have written, that's the perspective. Now, <coughs> You remember that when we talk of sociological perspective, there are five things which should be taken into consideration. You will say, Sir, Are Baba, there is a question of only 150 words and how we can take into consideration all the five things? No, that should be only in your context. What are those five things? Number one is <coughs> this very thing, social fact. Number two is <coughs> society. You will say, you are saying that society is not the subject matter of sociology, then why society? Society is a consideration of ours. It is not a subject matter of sociology, but whenever we do something, Samaj kya kahega? What the society would say? Koi admi North India ka hai, South India ki ladki se aankhe lad gai, sochta kya kare? What the society would say? This is the context. Now, uh, there uh, uh, was a sociologist, probably you have heard his name, or you may not have heard his name. His name was Howard Baker. Anybody, anybody have heard his name, Howard Baker? He wrote a book, Outsider. <coughs> What he says that yeah, those persons who do not give any consideration to society, they are outside the society. The mad person as well as the criminal, he might have a family, but he does not care for the social uh, uh, rules. That's why it is said that he is an outsider. So whenever, whenever you are writing an essay or writing a sociological question, you have in your mind that no, society is a context. It's a consideration. We do not study, but as one of the important sociologists, George Herbert Mead, you have heard his name because he is in your syllabus. Mead said, we have always in your mind the consideration of society, what the society would think. So the third thing, we said five, the third thing is <coughs> that <coughs> the large structures or the large institutions, uh, there was a man, American <coughs> sociologist, C. Wright Mills. Now this C. Wright Mills said that many things we do, very often we do not like it. Very often <coughs> uh, we are guided by those structures even without knowing that we are being influenced by those structures. Why are you appearing for UPSC? Have you thought this question? Probably if in the next 50 years, 20 years, 30 years, the social structure of India changes, then probably people will not go for this UPS. Today, in 2000 to 2018, management studies became very popular. Why? Earlier they are not. Engineering has become unpopular today. 
it was not 20 years ago. Why this is happening? That's a sociological question. Why this is happening? This is happening because of the large structures. Because of the large. You are very often concerned. Hey, yaar, I do love this girl or I do love this boy. Why am I being prevented from marrying that? It is because of the large structure. Clear? Now understand? And this large structure, this macro structure, influences anybody's life even without knowing it. You are being guided and you have to be influenced because you are living in a social structure. You cannot prevent it. So, <clears throat> this is the third thing. As far as the four things can say, <clears throat> this fourth thing <clears throat> we call that it is the social interaction. <clears throat> Uh, probably you must have heard his name, George C. Mill. You know? George C. Mill was a German, a friend of Max Weber, a friend of Robert Mitchells, a friend of uh, Ferdinand Tonys, a friend of even our, this man Willis, you know, Momsen. These people were contemporaries. And <clears throat> they were just a so this interaction, this has become very popular now. In America, what theory or which theory is very popular? Interaction theory is very popular. In India, which theory is very popular? Functional theory is very popular. In India, functional theory is very popular. You have to study this functional theory. Nothing very difficult, but only that this, yes, everything in society exists because it serves certain functions certain purposes. That is what functionalism is. So, but in the rest of the world, functionalism has become unpopular. In India, it is very popular because important sociologists in India, M. N. Srinivas, Iravati Karve, even Yuginder Singh, S. C. Dube, all people were, uh, Yugen Singh is alive, but others I have named, they are all dead. Even today, even today in India, uh, functionalists are there, Marxists are there, and then one person is our Andre Bitesaev, who is a Weberian, and none is an interactionist. I am really surprised why they have not <laughs> adopted this. This interaction is very important. I always tell a story that there was a lover he every day wrote a letter to his beloved. After six months, the postman married the girl. And the lover got a jor ka jhatka dhire se. So probably you have... What this, this joke, what this emphasizes? Kya hai yaar iske piche? Bolo. Kya lagta hai aapko? Ye humne jo joke sunaya aapko ki bhai chhe mahine ke baad us postman se us ladki ne shadi kar li. Kya hai? Bolo. Bhai mere, this is nothing. This shows the importance of interaction. Wo daily postman se milti thi. वो तो केवल चिट्ठी लिखता था, वो पाती पढ़ के प्रेम बचा नहीं रहता। आपके दोस्त एक साल, दो साल, तीन साल आपसे जुदा होके भी दोस्ती मेंटेन रहती है, उसके बाद नहीं रहती। इंटरैक्शन इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर मेंटेनिंग अ सोशल रिलेशनशिप। किसी भी आदमी से, अगर इंटरैक्शन नहीं होगा Interaction means coming together, influencing each other, and having the concern of each other. This is what interaction is. So, 
perspective of sociology also gives importance to interaction. The last thing is <coughs> social concern. Social concern. There is a <coughs> British sociologist, Martha Nussbaum. <coughs> she is not very old. <coughs> Probably you have heard or may not have heard her name. Naam suna tha kisi ne? Martha Nussbaum. Ab yaad rakhye ga sociology. <laughs> sociology, aray yaar, itne subjects thi. Anthropology tha. Psychology was there. Then <coughs> there was this political economy. What was the need of sociology? Koon sa pahar tut jata agar sociology nahi hota tu? And there is a very important this is a sociological question. Why is the part of the part? Why is the sociology coming? Now, <clears throat> sociology came, sociology emerged to solve the problems of industry. Industrialization, how is it coming? Globalization has changed the whole world's life. Don't you think this? Within 30 years, India has changed so much that it did not change in the last 200 years. These salo me, nabbe se suru hua, or ye 2018 hai. This globalization, this liberalization has been very, very qualitative and important thing which has changed Indian society, rather the world society. Hey na? Aap is tarah se America se kisi dost se baat karte ho, Google Talk mein ya Skype par, jise lagta hai ki aapke padoos mein koi. Aaj se pandra saal pahle America se baat karne mein paan sa rupya lagta tha. Five hundred rupees. So, you see more Women in the public space. Why? Because of this globalization. People go to foreign countries so easily today that nobody could think of this even 10 years ago. So when this social concern, sociology emerged to solve the problems of industrial society. Unlike so psychology, we say, what is the problem of anthropology? But sociology cannot say that I don't have a social concern. Sociology has to have some concern of society. Today, what is happening? All people are mechanical cogs. Max Weber used this word, mechanical cog. Bureaucracy is a structure where individuals are mechanical cogs. What do we do? We don't have to do it. There is so much of unemployment, there is so much of poverty. So on the one hand, there is much of affluence. On the other hand, there is poverty. This is the question of sociology that this should be mitigated. FSA is a great step. Manrega is a great step to solve these problems. Understand? So naturally, <coughs> naturally, this is, you will say, sir, how we should in every question? No. In a question, if you do not know the answer of a question, only write two lines each on the five things. What is the social fact aspect? What is the society's context? What is this influence of macro structure? What is the aspect of social interaction? And how a social concern is involved in that? Clear? Now this is clear or any doubts? Now, as far as uh, your sociology papers are concerned, the first paper, how many topics it has? 
10 units. Now, uh, oh, you do one thing. You write the units on the left side and the questions of last five years on the right side. From this unit, how many questions? From this unit, how many questions? From this unit, how many questions? I do their thing. That is a very important part of your sociology preparation. You'll find, <coughs> don't study, start with what is sociology. I have told you just for an understanding. You start with social stratification. Start with social study. There are important things which you will be <coughs> uh, encountering in this social stratification. Every year there will be question from this social stratification. One very popular question is uh, the, the perspective of Marx and perspective of Weber on social stratification. Very popular question. Then <coughs> the questions would be that how, how the division of race, the division of ethnicity, the division of gender, the division of these uh, uh, other things, regional divisions, those matter. Probably you may not have an idea what is an ethnicity. Kya yaar, kya samajhto ethnicity se? Bolo. Kya hai, aap kis state ke ho? Assam. Very right. So, so, what do you think of ethnicity? In Assam, ethnic question is very popular. <laughs> so, so uh, uh, one of my friends, Hemen Borgahain, is there and he always, he, he is a professor, he, he has retired, English professor. <clears throat> so, uh, and the, the, this ethnic question, professor, this is troubling us. Ethnic difference एक चीज मार्क करो कि जितने भी तमिल फिल्में हैं एनीबडी फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु ओ यू फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु सो सो इन 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 तमिल फिल्म्स द सर्वेंट्स आर फ्रॉम कर्नाटका एंड केरला व्हाई इन बंगाली फिल्म्स the servants are from Bihar or from Uttar Pradesh. Kavi socha, asa kya ho hai? Hindi filmo ko dekha hoga. Mai filme bohut dekhta hoon. To abhi film aai patakha. Agar mokha mele sui dhaga. Abhi dekho. Ye wo sab nahi. Kya hai wo love yatri ho gara. Bogus. अपना बदन दिखलाएगा सलमान खान, nothing else, so naturally, but but these films, सुई धागा is a tribute to the working class of India. The kind of a sociological, you from now on, when you are student of sociology, see everything from sociological eyes. There is a very important sociologist who died in 2015. Uh, we lost many persons in that year. <coughs> uh, yeah, this I, then the, no, not that this I, this uh, 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 R.K. Mukherjee, he died. He said that we spontaneously observe things. Why somebody is doing this? Why somebody is doing this? Ethnicity means a region some racial difference, language, culture, lifestyle, and social structure. You'll say, sir, kitni uh, baat what, how many things you have, sir, told at one stroke? But probably one thing you know, every area has different castes. In his Assam, Different castes are there. In his Tamil Nadu, different. The Assamese castes are not to be found in Tamil Nadu. What to talk of Tamil Nadu? In Kerala, those castes are not there. The, uh, these, these, I mean, uh, uh, Baniyars 
or these colors, they are the Tamil caste. Nobody is there. In the Kammas and the Reddies, these are in Andhra Pradesh, the Okaliga, the Lingayas in the, in the Karnataka, so, so, oh, uh, and the Ijavas in Kerala. Naturally, caste has a linguistic concept, context. Every language area is an every ethnic area. But within the social stratification, you will encounter inequality, poverty. These are the questions you will encounter, you have to answer. This year's essay, there was a question on poverty. That question may come even in sociology. That's a very popular topic of sociology. So, <clears throat> uh, sociologists discuss why poverty has increased. This Gossi, as an American sociologist, he said that he is a man of economics, but he has a sociological perspective. He said, sociologically speaking, the Millennium Development Goals have failed and the Sustainable Development Goals would also fail. Because the perspective is not correct, the perspective is not sociological, the perspective is not very social. Clear? So, then the third topic, you very often is in difficulty. That is <coughs> the work organization. Every year there is a question, work organization means what is the level of type of work organization in several slave society, feudal society, capitalist society, today's global or liberal society, how people work. Do you think that division of labor has been such a popular topic in sociology? Our, this man, Emil Darkheim, his PhD thesis was on division of labor. A central topic. Marx said it, Weber said it, all the important sociologists talked about this division of labor. But today, do you realize there is no division of labor? Global economy has done away with division of labor. There is a supercomputer, a lady or a man is sitting there for hours together, sometimes days together, working on that. This is a sociological question. Next is that uh, very often <coughs> uh, we have in the first paper itself this kinship, family, marriage. You have to study this. You will say, sir, these are very easy things. No, when you sociologically write, write in the context of some scholars, some sociologists. Clear? So, supposing you know many things about family, but don't you think that family today is in the face of crisis of existence? In the West, family has gone. In India, if I say within 50 years there will not be family, what would say? What is your opinion? Would there be family after 50 years in India? <laughs> what my blank, bland question is a pointed question. Would there be family after 50 years in your opinion or not? No, no, no. I, I think that, that uh, whoever has said this, uh, probably he himself, that we do his terms. This kind of a cycle, that, uh, that is a misnomer, that's a wrong interpretation, that families in India <coughs> have 
from the joint family they have come to nuclear family and from nuclear family they will again become joint family a bogus thing and nobody can support it they, it was said because in india in our religious ethos we just simply love a family we cannot think of a society without family hai na yaar itna zyada live in relations hoga to family rahega aapki kya rai hai 50 saal ke baad kahan kis state ki ho are you are from which state maharashtra maharashtra do, what do you think would there be family after 50 years Uh, do you think do you think there are joint families in larger number today in india no sir definitely there are not as compared to the past few years are baba 2011 census said that in india 90% families are conjugal nuclear families it's not me who is saying it it was the census of 2011 clear so naturally <coughs> Uh, uh, after this, I mean, uh, family, we have to study politics, political parties, pressure groups, all that. Now, then, then you study <coughs> uh, uh, this religion. It's a very important thing as far as Indian society is concerned. And then <coughs> uh, uh, we have to study this <coughs> social change. Uh, in the first paper, social change is a very small topic. Why? Because only three persons have been linked to social change. One is Marx, another is Ogburn, another is Sorokin. Pitrim Alexandrovich Sorokin was a Russian sociologist, a man who was born and uh, brought up in an orphanage. and he became a professor of sociology in russia itself but he had political views and then <clears throat> rather a kind of a cynical man it was his wife that she was a botanist and she made him a great sociologist because she was a very disciplined lady two sociologist one ch kule he was some was a uh, uh, deaf and dumb but his wife again was very very intelligent who made him into a great sociologist <coughs> so uh, 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 i mean uh, these three people and the social change topic in first paper is an easier topic ogburn was an american sociologist a very simple man he studied what is the impact of technology on women how pressure groups influence them pressure cooker influence he gave that concept of cultural lag mckayver gave the concept of technological lag so <clears throat> in the first paper i have left two topics very often you fear those two topics my polite request is you rather love those topics one is social research there are specific seven sections only from where the questions would be asked only seven things for example what is scientific method for example what are the scientific principles validity reliability objectivity and this <coughs> uh, 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 verifiability verifiability validity reliability and objectivity most popular is objectivity these are the principles of scientific math will be asked questions on that my request is that you must read these research questions and must answer these research questions why because you will get 
more marks in that question. The next is thinkers, sociological thinkers. Now, <clears throat> as far as these thinkers are concerned, uh, who are there? Are six thinkers, six sociologists. Uh, as far as <coughs> Marx is concerned, was he a sociologist? Are Marx ko hamlo ne rassi band ke sociologist bana diya? He at at least one time in 1856 when. Count went to England. Marx was there in England itself. And he joked that there is a fellow who talks about sociology, a new subject, a bogus person. And the political economy it covers everything. But Marx's ideas are so seminal that we have included him in sociology. Anna, so what was your subject? BAMA? Yes, engineering, you are economic order. Then you are very closer to sociology. Yours? Physics. Physics honors or something from which university? Oh, uh, you belong to which state? Assam. Uh, uh, so uh, you are a Bodo or what? No. Manipur. But uh, you are from Assam but from Manipur. <laughs> yes, it's a kind of a sociological phenomena. So, so your father belonged to which tribe of Manipur? Oh, Methi, Methi, Methi. So, yeah. <coughs> so, so <coughs> Manipur has a non-tribal majority. Non-tribal majority. Non-tribal majority. <coughs> there are almost seven percent Muslims there. Yeah, yeah there are seven percent Muslims in Manipur. <coughs> And it was Chaitanya Mahaprabhu yeah. um, who went there and then he, probably in UPSC some question was there, but, but it was long back, 12 years or 13 years. So we have got two students from Assam, <laughs> so naturally, uh, you came separately or you came jointly, what? You know each other from earlier, no, ha, <laughs> yes, this sociology has brought you together, naturally. <coughs> Uh, as far as this uh, uh, thinkers are concerned, without thinkers, there cannot be any sociology. Understand? No thinker, no sociology. In everything, whatever you write in first paper, second paper, always have a consideration what Marx would have said. <coughs> so this Marx, this Weber, this Darkheim, Parsons, Merton, and Mead. Three are Americans, the last three are Americans, two are German, and one is a French. Darkheim is a French. So, <clears throat> naturally, you rather love them. Why? Whenever you are answering a question, try to understand or think what Marx would have said on this. What, don't write it, but simply think it. What Weber would have said on this? What Darkheim would have said on this? So, if you have this consideration, you will definitely get good marks in sociology. Clear? Now, this is a defined syllabus as far as first paper is concerned. Uh, yes, uh, uh, if you just join us, and then we have that material. I have just prepared that, keeping in mind sociology, UPSC, and what kind of questions they give and what kind of just uh, they ask. But even if you do not join this institute, you just read otherwise. So uh, I think that Kojar's book for thinkers 
is much better. Live is not very popular in Delhi. <coughs> Kozier, <coughs> Masters of Sociological Theory. This is the book, Masters of Sociological Theory. Uh, in Delhi, George Reeser is more popular and <coughs> I think that <coughs> uh, is rather <coughs> uh, more cumbersome. Reeser is somewhat complex, Kozer is somewhat simpler and so my advice is to go for Kozer. <coughs> then as far as the second book is concerned, again on that I'll tell you later but right now this man Harlem Boss <coughs> is also very popular, not bad, or a good thing, but <coughs> uh, this man is from England. He is himself Weberian, Weber's follower. So there are as many Weber's followers in sociology as there are of Marx today in sociology. So, so uh, give that consideration and <coughs> As far as research is concerned, find out one book, S.K. Srivastav. Social Research and Social Survey. Social Research and Social Survey. That's a good book, <coughs> so that can help you. And <coughs> uh, although a very old book, but it's still very relevant <coughs> as far as. <coughs> Uh, one first paper book, I'll tell you, if, just uh, if you can come again, I'll just tell you. That's a good book, <coughs> because uh, things have changed in sociology. Thomas Pogge, you have not heard his name, but no. Uh, uh, <coughs> a man who has very extensively debated the question of poverty in the world poverty in the world. India is one of the eight most poor countries in the world. African four countries, Chad, Niger, Congo and one more, uh, this Mozambique. These are the poorest. This India, Bangladesh, Nepal and this uh, Afghanistan, these are the poorest countries. Not Bang Pakistan has not been included, I don't know why, but this is the Pogge's report and he has given it. So naturally, <coughs> then, then uh, uh, even this, for example, this Anderson. Now you do understand what happens, that we have got norms, but there are people who are not following these norms Rather, they are trying to follow different norms. Probably you have seen a film, Gulami, Amir Khan film, Gulami. No. What, what we are trying to say, that these lower class people, they develop their own models. You think that, no, if I have read ten books, I have done a great thing. And if they think that if I, if I have beaten 10 persons, I have done a great thing. So we say it is the code of the street. Julie Anderson, a man who just wrote this. So sociology has changed because society has changed. Naturally, today globalization has to be your context in everything. Things have changed and you should also change your approach. So this is all about the first paper and I have told you that these are the three books. Uh, don't read if you uh, do have the scope. Many of you can just attend coaching issues and all that. <coughs> but my suggestion is that you just have a look in the books because that gives you broader idea. Kozer gives a broader idea as far as this <coughs> uh, thinker is concerned. Harlambos gives you a good idea as far as the different topics are concerned. <coughs> as far as the second paper is concerned, that is more problematic. 
in Delhi, they say this is general knowledge. No, my friend, never think that the second paper is general knowledge. Never, never. It is as serious as the first paper is. In the first paper, <coughs> you should do only three things. What are those three things? Number one, you quote the scholars. Reference. You quote the scholars. Number two, you give examples. But only Indian examples and only those are in the public space have been given in the newspapers, have come out in the television, have been there in the discussion of people. So, uh, no private examples. Something which has happened in your family, never give as an example. Th third is, uh, don't give <coughs> uh, studies of... So, try to give Indian studies <clears throat> even in the first paper, even in the first paper, give Indian studies and uh, give Indian examples so that you can just uh, prove your point as far as the principal circuits. Clear? Any doubts? Uh, till date, uh, you have been given Oxford mobility studies and this uh, American Warner study, and I don't give those studies. Because give Indian studies, give Indian examples, those would be only important things. As far as the second paper is concerned, just like this first paper, number one, you give <coughs> references. Number two, you give a study. It's a must. You have to give. And number three, you give examples. It's also a must because they, they prove your point. They prove your point. That is, that's it. Now, in the second paper, what happens? You can get good marks if you have a good understanding. Never go for this impression that this is general knowledge. No, there is no general knowledge. There is systematic scholarly enterprise. The first topic is the approaches to the study of Indian society. Anna? So naturally, <clears throat> there, are, uh, there are three in the syllabus. I add one from myself. What are those? Number one is... <laughs> This is Ghure Sahib, Govind Sadashiv Ghure, number two, Mysur Narsimhachar Srinivas, I mean Srinivas, number three is A.R. Desai, Allah Akinchan this Desai, and my, my request is to go for Andre Bete also. This man, Andre Bette, also. Don't call him Bitai, don't call him. He is uh, uh, out of these people, he is the only alive man, lives in Jurbag, and probably he has written very extensively on Indian society, a Padm Bhushan that way, uh, <coughs> and uh, very well read. And the only follower of Max Weber among Indian sociologists. Clear? So then the second important topic, as far as <coughs> one confusion is there, very often you have. His, his school is called as Indology. Clear? There are some books in which it has been written that Louis Dumo was also an Indologist. Never think this. Probably you have heard the name of Louis Dumo. Heard? No. Not heard. Louis Dumo. Heard. Sociology you have studied? No. Some, some idea of sociology? 
some idea of Louis Dumont? No. Yeah, yeah, he was a French, nothing, nothing to worry. Are Baba, nahi jante, jan jayen, kis mein kya hai? So, Louis Dumont, somebody, probably it was Nagla Sahib, all a retired professor, how could he say, he was not an Indologist. A great person that way, but that bugger criticized India like anything, and he has written a good book, Homo Hierarchus, 432 pages, <laughs> And a very uh, important sociolo uh, sociologist that way, now dead. <coughs> but but <coughs> uh, he was not an Indologist. The second topic is <coughs> impact of Britain or impact of <coughs> British rule in India. British rule in India. <coughs> so this is modernization of Indian tradition by Weising and the second is <coughs> social backgrounds of Indian nationalism by Desai. <coughs> you have to compulsorily read, not the books, don't go for anywhere if you get the material, if you are here then we'll give you the material. There is Ignu book, Indira Gandhi Open National Universities and you from there you can just read that material uh, but don't go for the book because uh, Yoginder Singh writes very clumsily he's from UP Basti district Basai Gaon and <laughs> Basai village he is still alive Hindi wale bahut buri angreji likhte unless and until they are from English schools and so Yogin Singh also writes bad English Large, very, very long words, long sentences. And that way he's a chela of M.N. Srinivas, a very indirect manner. <coughs> but you'll get question every alternate year out of these questions. Modernization of Indian tradition or social backgrounds of Indian national. The next is, this is the enigma of Indian sociology caste. No matter how much you dislike it, caste would be a topic and caste would be a question. So, and, and uh, probably <coughs> on this caste, uh, there are specifically <coughs> four writers who have been mentioned according to whom you have to know about caste. Char, char, sociologists ke naam. Caste ke saath jode hue <coughs> One is, another is Srinivas. Then this Dumo, and then this <coughs> Andre Bethe. This is the man. <coughs> so uh, you. Every time they don't ask these questions, or uh, it's not necessary, they'll ask what Ghure said or what Srinivas said. But you'll have a question on caste. Caste has changed, caste has decimated, caste has declined, disintegrated, this kind of question. So, uh, 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 there are uh, two questions. One is Dalit and another is this creamy layer or the backwards. Today, what is happening? The backward castes, Jats, Gujars, Maratha, in her Maratha land, then these, <laughs> I mean the Jadavs, they have got the reservation, the Kurmis, and the Okkaligha, the Lingayats, <coughs> they, they have got in South India all the backwards have the reservations, but but <coughs> uh, the Thevers they have also they are now ruling um, Tamil Nadu the Thevers the chief minister the deputy chief minister all are Thevers, so so <coughs> uh, this kind of thing you you have probably you'll get a question why these backward caste are demanding who are so rich demanding reservation. One man from 
Gorakhpur University, Manavinder Singh studied this problem and he said that this is a political question. This is a political question. They are demanding reservation for power, not for economic benefits. Clear? So naturally you should be prepared to answer these questions or this type of questions. <coughs> Next thing, as far as this uh, uh, second paper, sociology is concerned, the four topics, for example, is there any reference to education in the syllabus? Second paper may have syllabus. Ha, but, but, but otherwise, you can get questions on any aspect of education in the second paper. So be prepared for that, not only in social transformation, otherwise also. <clears throat> the second is religion. Don't be critical of religion in any case, neither in the first paper nor in the second paper. What does it mean? That you will not say that religion would go you will not say that science and religion cannot coexist. You say that they can coexist. This is what UPSC wants. Well, this is a dominant view of Indian, Indian sociology. Then well, actually you should be also conforming to this. You might have your own views. Nothing to worry. You have your own views. But don't write in the examination. You will have one question from religion in the second paper. That's a must. There are different things. Secularization, the problem of minorities, communalism, fundamentalism, there are different things. So those questions should be there. <clears throat> the third thing is politics. And the fourth thing is this kinship, <clears throat> family and marriage. These are in our sociological terminology, the institutions, the institution. One question is a very popular question, a regional variation of kinship structures, regional variation of kinship structures. Uh, you are probably, you might be knowing both the things. The Manipuri kinship structure is different from Assamese kinship structure. In Assam, probably you realize and that uh, in more than 60% of the cases, it is the girl who proposes. Mujhse sadi karoge? You, do you conform or not? Uh, this is a sociological study. This is a bad subject because this tries to just penetrate in the private life of people. <coughs> but, but this has an extensive awareness how things are there. In Maharashtra, the father-sister is important in marriage negotiations. Do you, don't you think this, what, this happens or not? No. This happens. Aapka kya state hai? UP mein aisa hota hai? Bua ji ka bada bhao hai ki nahi hai? Koi bhao nahi hai. Unke haan, agar nahi bua ji consent dengi, Shadi ne ho. So, ye regional variation of kinship hai, and you have to write this. So, from now on, since you are a student of sociology, aak kaan khol ke rakho. Ramakrishna Mukherjee ne kaha that you should be always observant as to why, why these things are happening. You should not be guided by the newspapers. They are not students of sociology. 
you should be guided by sociological theories and sociological perspectives. Clear? Now, <clears throat> as far as other topics are concerned, there are four other topics. One is <clears throat> this <clears throat> tribe. A definite question would be there from tribe. You can't just stop it. There uh, uh, was a man, and government of India instituted an inquiry or an investigating committee, study committee, under Virginius Khakha. Have you heard that committee report or no? No. No, no, no need of studying it, I mean, larger volume. But Khakha's study is the best interpretation of tribal situation today tribal situation today. <clears throat> so naturally, uh, you will have a question on tribe and for example, uh, you might have heard Warrior Alvin, Warrior Alvin. So, so uh, uh, 2016 there was a question on Warrior Alvin. Now, you might have a question on tribal sub-plan, 2016 question, tribal sub-plan. So, uh, a forest right act. 2015 question. So naturally, <coughs> you'll have a question. You'll say, sir, where from we'll study? Oh, probably I have given that material and uh, we have the material on that. Otherwise, you can just study it. There are many books of Indian society in which you can just get it or the IGNU material is there. IGNU material is there. But I won't suggest that you should go for Bajar notes. This is a note of this kya hai, wo vision ka note hai, to ye kya hai, iska note hai, usko parmat jau. I don't think that they are very, so you'll ask sir, then why your notes are very important? Why others are bad and mine is good? So, because we have tried to prepare it by just referring always to some sociologists. Always to some sociologists, some uh, books are there and so <clears throat> another aspect which are which is a must and which are important then one is social transformation social transformation in India <clears throat> social transformation in India <clears throat> this social transformation <clears throat> change movement, all that. Then there is this social change. <clears throat> In here, modernization, globalization, then <clears throat> the third question on women. <clears throat> Lastly, there is only one thing I'd say and you will have <laughs> questions on that. No reference in the syllabus. Gandhi Baba. You will have a question on Gandhi Ji always. In 2015, there were questions on Gandhi, questions on Phule, questions on Ambedkar. You have to have ideas on these three thinkers or reformers. What Gandhi said about caste, what Gandhi said about secularism, what Gandhi said about untouchability, what Gandhi said about Indian society, you have to read Gandhi. You have to read Gandhi. Second, you have to read Ambedkar. You have to read Phule. So you'll say, sir, where from? Probably, uh, although that's a very large book, and in 2015, UPSC did a majak. Three subtopics from one book. Ramchandar Guha's book, Makers of Modern India. Quite large. But you have the, if you have got the time, if you have got the money, buy the book. Don't buy the photo state call. You never read the photo state things. So, so. Uh, if you have, or you take from your friend or you go to some library. These libraries are only reading places. Uh, Delhi lacks those libraries. Allahabad has, Patna has those libraries. 
where the books are also kept, magazines are also kept. But read them from there. Gandhi, Ambedkar, and Phule. <coughs> so every year you will have a question on that. So <coughs> naturally, uh, uh, with this, <coughs> if you have got any questions, you can ask. But <coughs> uh, as far as this sociology test series is concerned, <coughs> I'll try to, uh, I have just uh, omitted one thing, but every year you'll give, uh, I just forgot. Population is one important topic. So in population, <coughs> there are only four questions that you'll get. Nothing more than those four questions. <coughs> One is aging. One is aging. <clears throat> Number two is <clears throat> uh, unequal sex relations. Number three, <clears throat> the <clears throat> declining f fertility of female children and related to this is <coughs> MMR maternal mortality rate only these things are uh, only these four topics are asked nothing more never probably if you have any awareness that different question was asked you can just tell me that even I'll be uh, just aware of that kind of question but uh, don't go for migration, don't go for, yes, migration is in that social transformation. Uh, urbanization in that social transformation. Industrialization in that social transformation. Those are the topics. In the second paper, you have more difficulty because there is not a single book where you can get all the things. I am trying to write a book not for you but but for the last eight years I am still not able to complete it but probably next year I'll be just getting it published <coughs> uh, larger publishing houses they take much of time in reviewing all they're doing those things so I thought that no I should just publish a simple book there are books by some people probably uh, there is one coaching teacher Kyanamunga Eh? Vikas. Vikas. He has published book. So uh, I have seen it. I mean the second paper book. Uh, I have not seen the first. The copy paste we have to get material thick it's useful. If the material goes, what is the bad thing in? must for example, let's say ye Surinder Jodhka ka naam. Anybody have heard his name? In education we nahi kaam ke. Unho ne, yoh JNU ke professor hai. Man ab to retire work kar gaya hai. Surinder Jodhka had studied two villages near Panipat in Haryana. And he has seen uh, the changes in villages. Changes in villages. So naturally, uh, uh, then, then there are uh, Manish Thakur, is one man who has studied the village India. Uh, you'll get one question from village. Village studies, the idea of Indian village, or this uh, uh, changes in village, all those things. There is one question on that. You must refer to these people. For example, uh, village India, if you have got some idea, in 1950s up to 1960 they are of one type 
then with green revolution village india changed commercialization aa gaya aurte brush karne lagi pehle dathvan karti thi aur fir cinema mein jaane lagi dekhne lagi and this ye jo globalization hai is behude ne to pure village india ko change kar diya any alia bhatt fashion is popular next morning in villages अब कोई विलेज कटा छटा नहीं है एनी लार्ज विलेज हैज अ ब्यूटी पार्लर आई डोंट नो अबाउट आसाम मच बिकॉज वी हैव गॉट वेरी लिटिल इन फॉर फ्रॉम मणिपुर देर इज अ मैन हु हैज स्टडीड मणिपुर एंड दिस नागालैंड ऑल्सो एंड ही वॉज अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ सोशोलॉजी इन जे एन यू इन सोशोलॉजी दे दे कॉल इट स्कूल ऑफ सोशल साइंसेस School of Social Science. So actually, triple S. It is triple S. I have taken some classes in you because because that's a very taxing thing, and so <clears throat> uh, a very tough work because this is not a lecture business in JNU. You discuss, they ask you questions, and then you just discuss things. So uh, uh, in second paper, you'll get good marks because this year uh, one of our students got. <coughs> uh, probably 153 a remarkable marks i mean that was uh very really good marks that way <coughs> in in first paper he couldn't do that good <coughs> but but <coughs> in second paper he has got 153 and you can also get 150 very easily if you follow only three things that you write the questions always with the ref- correct references give one or two studies not more than that and you try to give one or two examples and you will get definitely around one definitely 60 plus marks nobody can stop you so so <coughs> uh the igno material right now is the only answer to this search for a material and here we have prepared i think just uh, seeing and considering this upsc business and so naturally <clears throat> but my polite request is to collect studies you will say sir from where you will get the studies ignu has given many studies they have given many studies if you can find time those studies you can just quote <clears throat> so now any questions from your experience what difficulties you had in 2000 when which year you appeared 17 so what first paper was more difficult or second paper was more di- sec yeah uh you you are any questions so 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 uh, you are reading sociology for the last 9 months what are the books you are reading yours any any books you have read no book no book मेरे आई थिंक दैट यू डू वन थिंग है ना बाय वन एन सी आर टी बुक इलेवन प्लस बुक एंड इफ यू फाइंड द ओल्डर एन सी आर टी इट इज मच बेटर द रिसेंट एन सी आर टी इज नॉट अप टू मार्क नॉट अप टू मार्क एंड यू आर फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग बैकग्राउंड और वॉट कॉमर्स बैकग्राउंड यू डिड कॉमर्स फ्रॉम विच यूनिवर्सिटी मैट्रा अरे यार कॉमर्स very nice department a very 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 famous department yes sir my class notes and diagno grade class notes you attended a coaching institute so which coaching institute by actually by mahapatra sir <laughs> not up to mark uh, i don't know but he is a professor somewhere yeah yeah, yeah sir i've heard that he is a professor somewhere <clears throat> uh Ache just one thing that you try to answer the old questions probably after tomorrow today is 6th na tomorrow is the exams no no tomorrow sunday ko exam hai is bar kya baat ache 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 center was the problem thik 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 yes 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 we have heard that they are not getting good schools and good centers that is why they have and now decided to take the examinations on uh, sundays that's why tomorrow is the examination just see the questions 
and try to answer those questions which are in the first paper, second paper, and, and you just find if you can answer those questions. Your background was? Sir, uh, physics on us. Physics on us. So probably he is also physics on us. <laughs> you are two people from physics on us. From which university? Pune. Proper Pune. Which was the college? Ferguson. Who was this man, Ferguson? And who was a very important leader of Indian National Congress who was a teacher in Ferguson College? Gokhale. Yes, Gokhale. Gokhale was a teacher in Ferguson College. <clears throat> and this Ferguson, who was he? Governor of Bombay, <coughs> Ferguson is the governor of Bombay. Are you reading it? Sociology is this, that whenever you see that sawun ka packet, you try to understand why this sawun ka packet is there. <laughs> so, so, uh, and your background was? Geology. From which university? Gauhati. You passed in which year? Two, th who was the head of the department there? Oh, oh no. Mm. Probably uh, some Badua earlier was the head. Mm. He's a very famous man probably in that subject, geology. Geology, not geology, na. geology, yes. So, uh, <coughs> why you opted for the sociology? But why only sociology? Why not anthropology? <laughs> why not history? Oh. <clears throat> so naturally, uh, uh, everybody has uh, read some books, some material of sociology by now. So you are somewhat experienced. And I do think that uh, I have been of some help to you by this discussion. <clears throat> and. <clears throat> uh, Probably in future, when you just appear for uh, the examinations in the test series, uh, first you read, and and when you read, you, you just uh, I have asked you to do one thing: you copy the questions, and after you just have written the questions, try to answer those on your own, no matter whatever. And, and so, uh, if I am available here, and at the time of these discussions. You can show it to me that these are the answers I have done, and so I have made. And so I'll, I can just let you know that, and try to write as few words as possible. No faltu, great sociologist, these words should be avoided. So I think that I have been able to give you some idea of sociology, first paper, second paper. Thank you very much. <laughs>